Hey guys, it's Ashley, your Norwex Independent Consultant, and I am coming to you from my master bathroom. I do apologize. I know the lighting on some of these videos isn't great, but you know, it's a bathroom, so it's kind of hard to get good lighting when obviously the best lighting is above the mirror and it's kind of bouncing off my video. So I do apologize for that. But I wanted to show you guys how awesome and how easy it is to clean the mirror in your bathroom. So there's a few different products that you can use to clean the mirror in your bathroom, and then I'm gonna demo a couple of them to show you how they work. The first is easy. Take your Enviro cloth, get it wet, you'll wipe down your mirror, and then you come back behind it with your dry window cloth and shine it. Super easy, two cloths. I keep both this one and this one in my bathroom all the time hanging on a 3M hook back behind my door in my master bathroom, so it's easy to grab. One really awesome thing about the window cloth is, you know, you get out of the shower and everything's steamy and your mirror's all steamy, you can grab this. It's already got the dampness on there, so you don't have to use your Enviro cloth. You can just take your window cloth and wipe down the mirror, and voila, one, you cleaned it, two, it's streak free, and three, no more steam. So <clears throat> that's really awesome with that. Another thing that you can use, and this is kind of one of our newer products, this is the dual dust mitt on one side, window cloth on the other. And so this has been a special off and on for the last several months. I love this, especially in the bathroom. What I love to use it on most actually is my pendant lights up above us though. Um, Cause I can dust them down and then turn this around and then get this just a little bit damp on the window cloth side and shine the sconces that are over mine. Cause mine are like blown bubble glass. Um, so that's another one, window cloth. Another option is our multi-purpose handle, which this part right here is actually just like the small mop. The multi-purpose handle attaches on. It's got the little uh, tiny brush that helps get in crevices. I really like to use this like around the bottom of my faucet and then back along between where my countertops meet my mirrors because a lot of dust and gunk and stuff gets stuck in there. And so this is really awesome to use there. But what I like about this multi-purpose handle is on this one that I keep in my bathroom, it's got the window cloth one on this. And so just like I said, you could grab your window cloth and wipe down your mirror. You could also grab your multi-purpose handle and use this up and down on your mirror as well. And it's gonna clean it just like your window cloth would. It's just a little bit different way to do that. I know a lot of folks like this style, if you have uh, glass doors on your showers to help just wipe down, um, there is a squeegee attachment you can put on this, which mine are bubbled, so the squeegee one doesn't work very good because it's like variated, so it's not a straight one. So I usually will uh, just use this to wipe this down and it helps get the extra water off of it so I don't get that hard water lime scale buildup on it. So. Let's play a little bit here, and I'm gonna turn you guys around. Hopefully I don't knock this over, but what we're gonna do is take a little toothpaste because, you know, kids love to get toothpaste all over. And then, the other thing I'm gonna take is some hairspray because let's be real, if you're a hairspray user, it gets on things and it doesn't come off very good. It's sticky and it leaves a, a big residue on everything when you spray it, including the sink in front of you. And then the last thing I was gonna do is just take a little bit of body balm because this is really uh, like a greasy lotion and we're going to make an A right here, A for Ashley. And so these are three things that I know you probably all suffer from getting on your mirrors at home, toothpaste, hairspray, and then something like greasy lotion. So we're gonna take our wet Enviro cloth. I'm gonna try to get you guys a little bit closer so you can see my messes here. We have hairspray mess right here. We have toothpaste mess, and we have lotion mess. So, Bear with me here as I try to get you guys to not fall off my stand. Sometimes it's really complicated to get you at the perfect angle so that I can show you what I wanna show you but without like knocking over my tripod. Okay, so we're going to take the trusty Enviro cloth. We're gonna get it damp here. 
Nice thing about a bathroom is you have a sink right next door, or right there, so it's super handy all the time. And we are just gonna go up and down on this toothpaste. I'm gonna take my dry and viral cloth and I'm gonna go up and down on that. And voila, hopefully you can see no more toothpaste. We're gonna move on to the lotion. Nice thing about the EnviroCloth is it's nice and big so you can fold it multiple times so you have lots of clean surfaces. And since we're over here, we're gonna go ahead and get that hairspray. You can see it kind of chunking up on my mirror here. Get that hairspray residue off there. And I am going to take this time my multi-purpose handle with my window cloth attachment and we are just gonna go up and down. Obviously, it's got a much bigger ability to cover space than just the Enviro cloth alone because it's got the attachment on the back side of it. Well, let's get you up close again. Hi. Shiny and streak free and clean. So that's just a couple of products that you can use in your bathroom to keep your mirrors nice and shiny, streak free and clean.